All right, I just want to explain this real quick. Here's how to populate your Canvas calendar into Notion like I have here. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go over to your, your Canvas calendar. For example, you're going to find your Canvas calendar. You're going to click on Calendar Feed. Click to open Calendar Feed. It's going to give you a file download. It's going to be an ICS format. You're going to download that file. Your next step is go over to a Convert ICS to CSV. On this one, you can pick which, one, which fields you want. This right here is going to be your due date. This right here is the date it was assigned. And this one right here is your title. The next step is go into a CSV viewer. You're going to open that CSV that you just converted in this viewer. And you're going to... Here, I'll show. Next step is you open this file. You change these values to the ones that are inside of your table. For example, you can see I wrote due date exactly like this with the capital due because in my Notion table, I've written this property with that capital do. So if you want, wherever you want this to populate, you're going to write it exactly the same. So I want this to populate in date assigned. And I want this to be the title. So next, I'm going to download this CSV. I'm going to take it back over here. I'm going to open my table right here. And the secret for merging with a CSV is you actually have to open this database in its own window. So you can see up here now we're three down. You're going to go over here. You're going to click merge with CSV. So for example, I'm going to merge with this CSV one. You can see these populated right here. Next step is uh, you can create a button. So these get automatically assigned a class. So I'm going to go back to my original page. And let's say I want these to be a physics 211 class. So what I do is I create a button and I create a filter that says if that if an assignment has physics 211 in it, 211, 2121. Physics has two one whatever, man. Okay. If it has that in the title, I'm going to assign it the class of physics 121. So that works. You can do that for every single class because you have a lot of different classes in here. Um, so I'm going to click that button and you can see it's going to populate. Bam, all of them in there. Uh, so next what I have is I have, a, I have trouble. Now I have a lot of assignments in here that I don't know when, I don't know how to organize them. I can go down this list, but it's more organized if I just have it by week and I'm not getting overloaded with information. So what I can do is I can create a property called this week, create a filter down here that says if it's checked, show it. And I can check certain assignments to show by saying that if due date is this week or it's in the next 14 days, that will help, uh, it, it should show. So I'm gonna click this button and you can see these new ones have populated in here. So I can see it's when they're due and I can check if I've started them, if I'm in progress, if I'm done, but I want it to be pinned still in this in this uh, this page so I can see it easily. Um, you can create all of that deep basic notion stuff. Um, what I have right here is a really cool it's a it's a formula that tells me how far away the class is or the assignment is from being due from today. So this formula looks like this. You guys can pause and come back. I have that and I also have another formula that says how far away, oops, I, I also have another formula that says how far away is the due date from the to due date. So when I set this to due date to, let's say I'm gonna do on Sunday, it shows me that I have another day. I can push it back to, I can push it back to the 13th because it's not due until uh, 11 p.m. So stuff like that, it helps me know how much time I have. Well, one interesting thing is you can actually integrate this with Notion Calendar. So for example, if I brought my Notion Calendar up on the right, I can say, I'm gonna do this on, I'm gonna do this on Sunday. I don't know exactly what time I want. It's, and I, got, I don't wanna type this in here using these two. What I can do is once I go over to my Notion Calendar, it refreshes and it shows me that I can drag this in here. 
So what's special about this is I can just easily change. Oh, I think this assignment's going to take me six and a half hours, you know. Uh, I can just drag it in here, and it automatically updates over here. It's, it says it's 11.30 to 5.15. It changed right here. Bang, bang, bang. And what you can do is you can easily uh, add all the, different, all the different things into here and organize your day like this. Like, oh, after I do read me first, I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a little 15-minute break. I know I'm going to have time to do these assignments because I've had it in my calendar and it's all organized. I know how much time I have to do this. I know I've scheduled my breaks. I know I just... I'm organized. I can do this. I know what I'm doing. I'm not lost. Because being lost is probably the number one reason that you fail a class. Um, so, yeah, this other stuff is kind of basic notion stuff. I uh, I can go over any of this if in the comments you have any questions. So, you can create different filters like for this month, if... if um, if the due date is in the next 30 days or 31 days, for example, it's going to show up in there. And then you have a table view that just has everything in case you need to do some tinkering in there or do something like that. All these, all these assignments are in there. So the only downside to this is that it doesn't update if your teacher changes a due date or something like that. So what's a good method is you should be looking at your canvas calendar or at least enable notifications for due dates that have changed also this only populates for assignments and not for to do things so for example if i were to go over to my if i were go, to go over here these would not populate in there because they're not actually assignments they are just to do's there's nothing to submit here, even though perhaps you need to view it. So you do need to stay on top of your Canvas calendar. Um, uh, one more thing I want to mention is that you can do – the reason this week is so powerful is so you can go into your table and let's say all these math assignments are due on the same day, but that's all next week. I don't want – I'm not going to do all of them in the same week. I want to spread that out. For example, so I could add this January 30th, or let's say this January 30th assignment, I can click on this week, and now when I go back to this week, it's right there, and I can, it's on my bulletin board, so to say. Um, so it's helpful for say, staying in the loop and organized. So just as easily when I click on this page, it disappears. The way to get these to show up is you go into your Notion file over here and you add a Notion database. So easy. All right, cool. One take.